السلام علیکم میڈیا پروڈرس اینڈ سسٹرس ونس اگین ویلکم یو آل ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل لیٹس جوائن فارمیسی یس ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ان فرنٹ آف یو ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا فسٹ ایئر فارم ڈی ایگزامینیشن وچ واز کنڈکٹڈ ان دٹ ایئر 2015 ان دس سیشن دا لیکچر سیشن آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا 2015 ٹو 2020 द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर रिपीटेडली आस्क इन यूर फर्स्ट इयर फॉर्म डे एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड मे बी इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन टुमोरो इज एग्जामिनेशन मीन्स अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ यूर फर्स्ट इयर फॉर्म डी फार्मास्यूटिकल इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री क्लियर द क्यू पी कोड इज टू एट फाइव फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू राजीव गांधी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हेल्थ साइंस दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट इफ यू प्रैक्टिस दीज मीन्स दीज क्वेश्चन मे बी आस्क इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू कैन पास इन द एग्जामिनेशन सेवेंटी मार्क्स paper yours see here in the year november 2015 the question was framed in this way question paper now long answer same pattern okay same pattern how the b form students are writing in the same pattern long essay short essay short essays 20 marks three questions you have to write two 30 marks okay totally one two three four five six nine questions sorry one two three four five eight questions in eight questions you have to attempt six and 20 marks for 2 marks in 10 compulsory you have to write 10 mark 10 questions for 2 marks and your passing is decided on these 2 marks only if you perfect these 2 marks 110% you can score their 12 marks easily because 6 to 7 questions are easy easy questions these are i will explain see here the first one is define limit test fix question it is okay limit test for arsenic is one of the fix question You remember the next one is yes more Morse method and Volart's method determination of the chlorides okay Morse and Volart's method B pharmacy it means this year uh, yesterday they have wrote the paper uh, means in this year only supplementary exam they wrote the pharmaceutical in or in chemistry first sem B pharmacy for them they uh, they had asked limit test for arsenic maybe for you they will ask the limit test for iron. be ready for that and here they ask mohr's and volart's method you remember mohr's volart's method very important methods in precipitation titration with these you remember the fajans method also got it and the next one is describe the principle and reaction in the assay of chlorinated lime and hydrogen peroxide these are two two, two antimicrobial agents chlorinated lime chlorinated lime hydrogen peroxide potassium permanganate boric acid you remember these five to six type of antimicrobial agents which are very important may be asked in your examination these are 10 marks question my dear brothers and sisters where from the year 2015 now next move towards the 2017 question paper 2017 question paper 10 marks question which questions are repeated i will discuss that let's move yes here this is the 2017 question paper my dear brothers and sisters november 2017 first year farm d 10 marks principal and uh, reactions procedure involved in the limit test for iron i told you iron and heavy metals heavy metals like lead practice that then what are antacids classify them very important question it is okay you may get this question in five marks also classify the antacid means systemic non systemic again you have to write the systemic antacids simple question then uh, what are ideal properties how should be these antacids means they should be cheap okay they should not form any type of the compatibilities while mixing with the other constituents of the pharmaceuticals remember this general concept at the method of preparation and assay mill uses of milk of magnesia milk of magnesia antacid it is a type of the next one is water complexometric titrations complexometric titration explain the different types of complexometric titrations with example how do you estimate the calcium gluconate calcium gluconate how can you estimate the assay of that you have to write then types of complexometric titrations you have to write and basically you have to explain the complexometric titration this is the question limit test is fixed for you now next move towards the 2019 question paper now see this you got now very simple very simple but you have to write those this is the 2016 question paper got it 10 marks they ask in a label diagram for with the procedure arsenic limit test fixed for this if they ask in 10 marks arsenic limit test means you write the reactions procedure okay uh, use of chemicals there because they ask for 10 marks no the neat label diagram of the arsenic uh, limit test diagram is there okay arsenic bottle you have to write that uh, describe that diagram on our paper and some of the reactions are there neat label apparatus very important the next one is principal and assay potassium permanganate and ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate it is a type of the hematite 
they may also ask uh, what are hematonics and uh, give an example for the hematonics which is assay tricky question you have to write what are this hematonics then assay of this ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate it is a type of hematonic which is given to treat the anemic patient ferrous sulfate from the students remember this very important then define and classify intracellular and extracellular electrolytes with the example with their importance in the body this time this question was asked in the first semester supplementary question paper okay define and classify intra and extracellular electrolytes with example very important for you okay maybe ask in 5 marks or 10 marks with their importance in the body sodium potassium calcium magnesium mm, uh, phosphor calcium what are these importance is this, this does they play very any important role in the human body yeah absolutely that only you have to describe here very simple question huh? just if you remember these questions if you read once to twice means easily you can get okay some of the questions I have uploaded in my videos okay you go to my channel let's join pharmacy first subscribe that and on the bell notification because I am uploading this type of videos if you on the further notifications means you can got you can easily get the updates my dear brothers and sisters so don't forget to on the notification and you can ask me the doubts in your farm day examination yes the next question is define and classify interest yes these are the 10 marks question now let's move towards the 2020 question paper yes, this is the 2020 question paper my dear brothers and sisters principal and assay reagents will limit test for iron and chloride fix iron chloride you remember this iron chloride arsenic sulfate heavy metals only from five they will ask one definitely and water antacids again repeated question then define oxidation and reduction give the application of serimetry with suitable example this question may be asked as this way define oxidation and reduction or this question can be also asked in the form of what are the redox titration explain the principle of redox titration at that time you have to uh, explain some of the titrations of the redox titration which are those serimetry bromatometry um, bromat uh, serimetry bromatometry then uh, you have to explain those all permagnometry dichromometry with the some five to six applications you have to explain it very simple define oxidation and reduction what is redox titration redox titration nothing but oxidation and reduction okay the combination of both is known as redox, uh, redox titration these are the important 10 marks question okay 10 marks question where in 2020 maybe from these selected questions only they can ask in our examination 110 percent i guarantee that now let's move towards the five marks question important five marks question don't quit my video watch the video until last it's very helpful for you yes this is the uh, 2015 question paper five marks let's discuss five marks they asked define redox titration explain with an example i have told you in 10 marks the last question they asked uh, uh, define oxidation and reduction same they ask here redox titration and explain with an example you have to explain those some of the titrations serimetry bromatometry permagnometry dichromometry yes then the fifth one is uh, why write the principal storage labeling and uses of oxygen oxygen uses storage and labeling mainly oxygen it is a type of uh, medical gas medicinal gas it is oxygen nitric oxide carbon dioxide explain these all you can see what are antacid classify them very simple methods of preparation on the standardization of 0 0.1 uh, n of potassium permanganate kmno4 preparation method potassium permanganate is one sodium hydroxide is one sulfuric acid you remember these three the various types of solvents used in non aqueous titration protic aprotic solvents okay these are various type of solvents in non aqueous titration then what are saline catheretics give method of preparation and uses of magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate basically it is a type of the saline catheretic okay saline catheretics saline catheretics it comes under the chapter you are in uh, gastrointestinal agents okay next to the antacid this this chapter is present very important saline catheretics mainly the role of catheretics is uh, to evacuate the waste products from the body okay ba basically to expel the fa facial material facial material if the body can't expel means then we are using the saline catheretics especially in the older patients and in children got it then the next one is classify errors with example define and classify some of the errors with example then write the principle and reaction involved in the limit test for iron limit test very important principles iron limit test are told you if they will ask in 5 marks or in 10 marks okay 10 marks iron arsenic lead sulfate you remember this okay and these are the two marks question i will upload in the description you can download the question paper from those 
and two marks question these are simple two to three line questions you can browse it from the google or if you don't know means you can uh, ask me to my whatsapp number i will add this whatsapp number in the description if you are having any doubt in the two marks question means you can write that questions and i will inshallah provide that answer for you yes the next question paper let's this is the 2016 question paper first year farm d pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry short essays five marks discuss the various solvents same question repeated okay solvents of non aqueous titration and the uh, uh, brief note on essential trace elements and explain the physiological role of iron zinc and chromium what are the roles uh, their roles okay we, uh, these iron zinc then the assay of calcium gluconate by complexometric titration calcium gluconate you have to prepare the assay then uh, systemic alkalizer and acidifiers how do they act suitable examples write the preparation storage labeling for uh, carbon dioxide see here it is also a medicinal gas then explain the two theories of indicators indicator theories to explain the two theories strong acid strong base strong acid weak base weak acid uh, weak base you have to explain any two theories from that mention a detailed note on antimicrobial see here they ask here here note on antimicrobials the agents which are used to deactivate the microbial activity is known as antimicrobials some of the example for antimicrobials is very good that all we are using it contains chlorohexidine okay and uh, some of the hydrogen peroxide uh, boric acid per potassium permanganate dichromate these all are the antimicrobials then preparation storage labeling for assay of the sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate is a type of the systemic antacid basically eno your eno contains the sodium bicarbonate which is given to control the your hyperacidity ha uh, hyperacidity it is a type of antacid here this is the two mark, five marks question in 2016 as usual two marks you can read yourself a very easy question 2017 write a note on a physiological acid base balance very important this question was asked this year for the supplementary students b pharmacy okay that acid base balance give a method of preparation assay of uses of boric acid antimicrobial agent okay dental products very important role of fluorides in the dental caries i uploaded the video in detail for this okay dental products dental products video anti caries agent very important lecture go and attempt that lecture if you feeling any difficulties in this inshallah you know this but although i am requesting you discuss the different methods to minimize the determinate errors how we can uh, minimize these errors okay determinate indeterminate gross errors then define and classify expectorants with examples method of preparation of ammonium chloride okay you have to classify these expectorants uh, and you have to give one assay for the ammonium chloride ammonium chloride it is a type of expectorant then uh, some of the other uh, other type of uh, expectorants like terbutylene gufamexin terbutylene gufamexin these are also some kind of uh, expectorants write a note on modified volard volard's method and fajan's method see note on primary and secondary standard substances okay primary and secondary standard substances very important question what are catheretics classify them with example to explain this what are the catheretics and classify I mean saline catheretics uh, you have to classify this osmotic catheretics uh, simple question let's move towards the the last question paper that is asked in their 2020 20 the question paper the question paper which is asked in their 2020 20 first year farm d degree examination simple question paper see here pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry is very simple subject if you, okay if you understand this means very 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 simple and interesting subject my dear brothers and sisters don't for don't misuse this subject very important and very easy by playing only you can understand this subject this is a lot lifestyle what happening in our life no that only we are applying here classify non aqueous titration the same question primary secondary and why give some examples types of compounds can you consider as primary why they are primary you have to explain them and with the suitable example okay then uh, methods of minimizing errors pharmaceutical aids write a note on sodium uh, metabisulfate it is a type of the pharmaceutical aids you have to explain some of the other uh, pharmaceutical aids pharmaceutical aids means uh, we are preparing this uh, some of the other therapeutic effects by using this pharmaceutical aids basically these pharmaceutical aids they doesn't show any therapeutic use or therapeutic effect but although these pharmaceutical aids uh, they will support the therapeutics they will support the therapeutic drugs got it my dear brothers and sisters then the next one is uh, classify precipitation titration explain volard's method you have to classify those precipitation titration various steps involved in the gravimetry analysis 
gravimetry analysis they will give in this way and also they can give write the assay for the barium sulfate as in gravimetry analysis they can ask in that way also barium sulfate it is a type of we can conduct that assay in the form of this gravimetry gravimetry one point you remember if you don't know anything means you write wash dry clean it then fold it in the drying paper and then again wash it then blot it in the blotting paper wash dry wash dry if you don't know i am telling okay if your mind is not working in the examination hall means you just write this much okay you take some of the other quantities take 0.2 gram of barium sulfate okay add some hot water to that wash it dry it after that mold it in the blotting paper wash it dry it like some basic points you write you can easily score that some you add some of the solvents for that to provide to prevent the oxidation just basic points you remember and you write inshallah you will get the marks then write the precautions for storage and handling of radioisotopes radioisotopes radioactive elements one question is fixed there five marks or two marks then dental products write a note on fluoride act as an anti caries agent fluorides play a important role fluorides chlorides basically halogens and sodium potassium sodium potassium chloride example these all are the anti caries agent yes my dear brothers and sisters this is the pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry important questions for first year farm d examination got it the same question paper is asked for the first sem b pharmacy there is no difference between that but in first sem what happen they divide this inorganic chemistry in two subject one is analysis another one is inorganic chemistry yes my dear brothers and sisters thank you for receiving my knowledge assalamu alaikum